Ever imagined a world where the state can seize you for an indefinite quarantine? Does it sound like a dystopian novel? Well, it's not. It's a recent court ruling. This ruling, though seemingly born out of a need for public safety, has sparked a whirlwind of debate and controversy questioning the very essence of personal freedom. So what does this court ruling really mean for you and me? Stick around to find out. Let's dive right into the crux of the matter. The court ruling allows the state to seize citizens for an indefinite quarantine and isolation. Now what does this mean? In the simplest of terms, this ruling grants the state the power to detain individuals who they believe pose a public health risk and isolate them for an undetermined period. This could be due to a contagious disease or any health condition that might endanger the community. The reasons behind such a ruling? The primary intention is to safeguard public health. In instances where a contagious disease is rampant, like the COVID-19 pandemic, swift and decisive action is necessary to prevent its spread. However, this brings us to the heart of the controversy. The implications for individual rights are significant and cannot be overlooked. The fear is that this power could be misused, leading to the detention of citizens without a clear medical reason. We are walking a tightrope here, balancing the rights of individuals against the overall public interest. In essence, the due process rights we've held dear might be in jeopardy. Now that we've dissected the ruling, let's explore its implications and controversies. The decision could have profound effects on citizens' rights, public health, and the legal system. For one, it raises questions about the balance between individual liberties and collective safety. How far can a state go in protecting the public health without infringing on personal freedoms? There are also concerns about potential misuse of this power. With the ruling giving the state such broad authority, there is a risk of it being used to silence dissent or target specific groups. It's a slippery slope that could lead to a state of perpetual emergency, with citizens' rights constantly under threat. Then there's the impact on the legal system. This ruling could set a precedent for future cases, potentially reshaping the landscape of civil rights and public health law. The controversy surrounding this decision is palpable. Critics argue that it's an overreach, while supporters believe it's a necessary measure in extraordinary times. The debate rages on, with legal scholars, human rights activists, and public health experts all weighing in. As we can see, this ruling has stirred up quite a storm. It will be interesting to see how this plays out in the days to come. So, we've delved into this controversial court ruling and its potential implications. Let's do a quick recap. The court ruling in question allows the state to seize citizens for an indefinite quarantine and isolation period. This decision has sparked much controversy, raising concerns over the violation of due process rights. Critics argue that it's a dangerous precedent, potentially leading to an abuse of power. On the other hand, proponents believe it's a necessary measure to safeguard public health. The legal, ethical and societal implications of this ruling are vast, making it a significant topic of discussion. It's clear that this is a complex issue with no easy answers. As always, it's important to stay informed and engaged. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more insights on critical issues that impact our lives. Before you go, subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. It is helpful with getting more content exposure.